in this video we will be demonstrating how to network together multiple iGrow 800 series controllers. Now the 800 has two types of firmware currently supported for two types of communications. The 800M for LinkCon 100 which uses Modbus and the 800C for our iGrow Cloud which uses Ethernet and Modbus. Both versions are independently unique. Both versions have Modbus for sharing at ground level in greenhouse, weather station readings for viewing, as well as weather station override options, cold dehumidification, and more. Now to network your controllers together, you need an S communication module installed on every controller in the network chain. To install the S communication module, You'll simply just power down your controller and install your module on the designated pin locations and secure it with the two set screws. Next, on the S module itself, you have the RS4A85 network terminal block. On the first controller in the chain, your broadcast controller, you land three wires, one to A, one to B, and 1 to G being the ground which will offer more communication stability. The following controllers or remote controllers you only land two wires one on A and one on B one after the other daisy chaining A to A, B to B using 24 gauge shielded cable. When finished make sure you terminate the RS485 network chain with the black jumper on the far right exposing the left pin. Note, if you have a weather station, make sure it's installed on the first controller in the chain, the broadcast controller. Once you have wired up your connections, it's time to map your network accordingly via the controller. Now from the controller, hit OK, go to System Setup, and then you want to go into your communication setup. Now on the 800M firmware your options are Modbus. For the 800C firmware you have IP address, cloud setup, and Modbus. Now in Modbus settings you have Modbus communication, Modbus address, and network name. Now in Modbus communications you have three options. You have broadcast, remote, or disabled. Now for demonstration purposes this is our broadcast controller and we'll leave it at broadcast. Hit OK. Go to Modbus address. When addressing Modbus you have one through 255 locations you can assign. They must be sequential, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, with no duplicate numbers. And finally, you have your network name. We recommend that you make this name a unique network name. For instance, this one says Link 4 Zone 1. That's a unique name. Next, let's go ahead and go to our remote controllers mapping. Now on our remote controllers, hit OK, System Setup, and you want to go to Communication Setup and go to Modbus Setup. Now, as you can see, this one's already mapped to remote. The Modbus address is number two because one is the broadcast, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and on are your remote addresses. And the network name is Link 4 Zone 2. Now, if the broadcast controller has a weather station on your remote controllers, you want to make sure that you map the sensors accordingly. Go into Map Sensor. Now for Outlight, Out Temp, Wind, and Rain, you want to make sure these sensors are in fact mapped remote. Now 
as you can see here they're already map remote once you have done doing your changes on all your remote controllers simply hit the home screen when finished mapping your remote controllers at the home screen hit the home button a second time to confirm that your weather station readings are viewable on all your remote controllers if you have Lincoln 100 software you want to go ahead and add your zones and you're in business and that's our video in demonstrating how to network together multiple iGrow 800 series controllers